Here's an area that the code specifically addresses. When a tub or shower unit is located on an exterior wall, you have to insulate an air seal the outside wall cavities before the unit goes in. Typically during construction, the plumber comes in and installs the wall unit before any insulation or air sealing is going on. Once this wall unit in, it's almost impossible to try to get insulation all the way down behind there and, and there's really no way to air seal it. The problem is the bathroom generates a lot of hot humid air. It can work its way around the tub or the shower unit, get into the outside wall cavity, and in the winter time when that meets the cold surfaces of the wall cavity, you get all sorts of condensation and mold problems and rot. We've got this mock-up here and we're going to show you how to address this area to make it airtight and insulated before the shower unit goes in. First I make sure there's solid blocking all the way around the flange area. Then I install the insulation in the cavities behind the unit. Then I mark the location of the tub unit flanges. If the unit isn't on site, I'll get the specifications off the internet. Once the flange locations are established, I measure back a couple of inches in each direction for the location and size of my air barrier. In this case, I'm using a quarter inch piece of Luan about 30 inches by 70 inches. In the past, I've used drywall, rigid insulation, and even plastic, anything that stops air. Before I install the Luan, I run a bead of sealant around the perimeter of its location. Once the Luan is fastened in place, I now have a nice insulated air sealed section of the wall that was almost always overlooked in the past. Now that it's insulated and air sealed, the plumber can install the unit. And this doesn't push the tub out at all. The air sealing is, starts right about here, top and bottom, so it doesn't interfere with the flange. 